Hey, what's going on guys? Bob Mentality here with a Bitcoin chart analysis for you. And today is September 19th of 2018. And wow, guys, was this unexpected. And so I'm going to break it down for you and tell you exactly what happened um, as far as what I as far as from what I can tell in the data I've gathered and how to trade re uh, regarding this information that just occurred. OK, and I mean that huge parabolic out of nowhere. So first thing, you know, we had the resistance up here at 6,500, 6,400. We broke down from that right here. We saw a very short consolidation period right here over the 6,200 as we were waiting for essentially volume to move us. You can see down here the strong volume drop off we had at the bottom of the chart. So um, we had volume drop off, nothing happened. We saw a slight parabolic here, which was just shorts taking some profits. And then again, that horizontal, that horizontal uh, momentum we normally see right here in this area. Um, once you see low volume and the shorts aren't really hammering, longs aren't really buying, we just kind of chop around and that's what we saw. So we consolidated here around the $6,350 level and that's where yesterday's video kind of left off. Well, today we saw a slight breakdown here as we saw the a bear start to win out, longs take longs, you know, selling some of their position, a slight bounce and then an all out dump. Now that dump was to be expected, you know, I covered that in yesterday's video there wasn't any reason the bulls weren't proving themselves in any sort of way we didn't see the bullish volume supporting the lows if they were going to start buying they should have already done it by now i gave multiple points there in my previous video as to why that was expected and what my entry level was when i was looking for below 6000 so we dumped to lows here of the i want to say 6000 let's see 6100 even wow i remember seeing it at the 6130 but yeah 6100 even on pretty strong bear volume not as strong if you compare it to what we saw previously, but it was it was more than that, okay? Now, this is where things get crazy. So let me drop it down to a five minute. Let me drop it down to a three minute, okay? There we go. So you can see the breakdown here. We saw this pullback right here, and then a, some, a strong bullish volume come out of nowhere, move us from 6,100 all the way up to a high of $6,549.90. So I know you guys are probably thinking, why did this happen? And it took everybody by surprise, including myself. I'll tell you exactly why this happened. So normally this sort of move would be caused by shorts covering their position. But in this case, that was not the situation. Okay. This was a hundred percent longs buying longs came out of nowhere and bought this. Most likely it was a bot. Um, that came in here and, and bought this up and it just they had a, a price target once the price was reached it was going to buy x amount dollar worth of cryptocurrency and turn right back around and sell it okay so if you look over here this this parabolic to for it started here at exactly not uh if you look on the bottom of the chart there 1912 okay and the parabolic essentially ended at 1921 all right let's jump over here to the bitfinex long chart here's what you're going to see here, uh, starting at, uh, at 19, 1912 here, we went ahead and saw a start of this move. Really, I say 19 even, right? From 19, we saw a huge jump in longs all the way up through 1921. Back over here to Bitcoin. And you'll see, I'll just double check that here. 1912, and then we finish there, 1921. Jump over to the Bitfinex longs. You'll see here, we'll go straight to 1912 right here all the way to 1921 which is right here so longs were what caused this move to occur when the longs went ahead and bought if you jump over here to the shorts what you're going to see is if we check that same exact time frame we'll start at the 1912 okay right here shorts were still moving up shorts were still accumulating they were still selling and once we saw 1921 the shorts hadn't even begun to start covering yet so essentially what happened is this entire move was fueled by longs buying buying the dip basically um and because of the bear volume wasn't that significant it didn't it, you know when we saw that huge surge of bullish volume come in increase the longs there on bitfinex what exactly happened was we saw that huge rip of, of mo the huge move that we saw that parabolic okay and as a result of that we saw that wick here on bitcoin so the shorts didn't start covering until we were already at the top of the parabolic. You can double check those time frame guys and you'll see exactly what I'm saying. So once we got to the top of the parabolic there, look on the shorts. Um, jump back here over, jump back over the shorts. Once we hit 921, which is right here at the peak, 
that's when we saw this side of the action, okay? And we're on the three minute here, so each one of these is three minutes. This is where we saw shorts covering. So if these shorts covered and took off their position, why did the price, why did the price not continue going up? Well, I'll tell you exactly why. Because at the same time that happened, the longs that just bought, that just, uh, you saw that bullish volume on Bitcoin that took us from 9,100 up towards you know, 9,500, or excuse me, 6,500. All those longs that bought took off their position here. So the guy who bought bought us up at the very peak right here, bought us up to that 6,500, turned right back around and sold his shares into the shorts that were buying to close their position. And that's why you could see this long decrease here. I did not mean to open that. And that's why you can see this long, the, the long decrease here on the Bitfinex chart of long selling their position, but the price staying in the same place. So it was a pretty clever play there from whoever bought to go ahead and buy the price up while we were breaking down, causing that quick flip of momentum and then going ahead and turning around and selling his shares into the shorts who he knew would cover. That was pretty smart. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That was pretty smart. So where does that leave us now? We go over here to Bitcoin. Where does that leave us now? So now the lows have been defended once again. If we go over here to the hourly chart, you can see that the lows have been defended. We're back up here to that 6,400 level. We were quickly stuffed into the 6,500, which makes sense because this previous consolidation zone is our resistance, uh, which I've been speaking about here for multiple videos. So right now we are above that $6,350 support or I guess you could say 6,380, which is on the top of these, this top of this previous consolidation. And this is exactly what's helping us uh, support the price right here on this pivot low. You can see if I drew that line there. So right now we're looking to see if we can consolidate and break the 6,500. Again, I'm not interested until we're over 6,500 and we find support on this consolidation because until then it's not really significant. We could easily just turn back around. This was essentially just manipulation of the tape and it isn't significant. There wasn't any news release or anything like that that caused this. It was just a trader trying to defend the lows um, in a very unique way. Let me put it that way. So there's a couple ways that you can look at this. How I'm going to choose to look at it here is I'm going to draw a line here connecting the wicks um, here on the bottom. I'll make that this light blue color here so it's easier to see. And on the top, I'm going to do the same thing, connecting the wicks. So what do you see here? Essentially, it's just a wedge pattern. If you'd like to, you could go in, you could zoom in here a little bit. And if you want to just draw your horizontal support there at that at that 6,380 level, you can. You can do it at 6,400. However, you'd like to do that. You see, we found clear support on that um, here on the on the uh, one hour time frame. And pretty much, we're just waiting, guys. Again, until we break out over this this downward sloping trend line here on the 6,500 whole and half dollar mark and break over that upper uh, downtrend line, I'm not interested in a long. And until then, I'm I'm looking for a short there at the lows. This explosion of bullish volume was a gift if you were able to get that but no one really expected that to happen not after the breakdown that we saw that was a very technical breakdown so i hope that my explanation as to what caused this makes sense now keep in mind this is only on bitfinex however the time frame fits perfectly you can go to the one minute chart and look at the bitfinex longs and bitfinex shorts and you'll see that the shorts didn't start covering until after the parabolic that had already occurred until after we moved from 6100 up to over six thousand four hundred and fifty dollars that's when the short started covering. So by that point, the parabolic was already over and they were what helped support the lows. Whoever bought that took his position off and sold it right away um, and likely turned a profit there. And now we're just sitting and waiting. So it was a very clever move of manipulation there on, um, on that trader's part. But until then, guys, I'm just going to remain patient. I don't, uh, we need, we're probably going to end up chopping around in this range for another day or two, honestly, guys, unless this move entices to put pressure on the shorts. But one thing I will say, if you jump over here to the Bit Bitcoin longs chart, is the longs after this, after they took all took off all that, that whole parabolic, they're still trying to make higher lows. So we are seeing some longs buying right here. If you jump over the Bitfinex short, you'll see that the shorts were, there's a huge stuff on the increase, right, when they covered but they're still look likely to make a higher low based off of these previous lows. So there's not really much of an edge here. The best edge that we have really is just looking at the daily chart and understanding that there's gonna be more trapped longs than trapped shorts. 
at least in this range. So we just need to be patient. Uh, but hey, who knows? Just make sure you guys are continuing just to stay focused on controlling your risk, controlling your emotions, so you can develop that bot mentality and trade like a machine, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Deuces.